What's up, people? It's your boy Mex, the WrestleManiac, if you will, and we're back to talk news. And like I said in the intro, man, we got some really big news that's been circulating today. I can't wait to kind of get this done and get this out there. The people have heard it already, but I'm just kind of gonna put it all you know together in a bun in a little sandwich so it can be easily digested by those that haven't because it is really big news and we are going to start with none other than jade cargill who we recently saw return to aew so obviously um jade cargill hasn't been on tv for a lot of time now you know she's been away she missed all in and all out because of um her time off that she was having which for me was super surprising one of the biggest stars in the in the company mainstream stars um definitely within the women's division top two biggest stars in the women's division and you would have expected her to be on such a show like all in in london wembley arena like yeah she wasn't there and it surprised me a lot um i kind of stayed quiet in my regard to my opinion about that because she wasn't on tv at the time so of course they couldn't have just forced her into something but you would imagine because it's a big show they would have you know got her involved in something to, for her to be there whether she didn't want to be there or they never had time to fit her into anything who knows what it is yeah but the, the story is that as big as she is it is reported that she could soon be leaving the company very very soon right um and yeah she just returned to tv it's all a bit bizarre um not only could she be leaving the company is what reports are saying she could be heading to wwe for those that know jade cargill had a wwe tryout in 2019 i think wwe contractually wanted to sign her up um you know wwe don't like you doing outside stuff obviously jade you know influencer had brand deals this that and the other was making money without the wwe the the nxt wage probably would have been very little to what she was making and she chose aew instead of wwe because um, they supported her dream she's been very open on that they they respect her and see her as a human being um rather than just like a a, a tv character or another person so um yeah jade chose aew and i think choosing aew at that point was very good for her um you know she would have been a star in, in wwe regardless i feel but aew has exposed her to wrestling in its purest form that this industry at its purest form because wwe is often you know a bit more pageantry if you like um however yeah this is where we are it's expected that jade cargill is going to be joining the wwe um jade only just returned to tv a week ago or so as of time of recording september the 9th she was back on tv she was on collision she had never been on collision i believe um and she in the segment she basically looked like she came to save chris statlander but after she beat up the renegade twins she then you know set her sights on statlander you know made out with her tbs championship that she's missed for so long um setting up a rematch against um statlander which i believe has been taped has happened and i'll give you guys a little bit of time to tune out for a second if you don't want the the spoilers but um as per the spoilers statlander retained so statlander has now beaten cargill twice the only person to do so and that is being said to be jade's last match like jade's last match in aew has happened crazy crazy mind-blowing stuff i know um so yeah this is where we are fightful select are the one that's carrying the report um saying that she's very likely she's done with AEW, and the speculation is that she could be going to wwe um no official confirmation yet um no formal offer has been made and nobody is really sure as to when cargill's contract is up but this is where we are um i questioned when she came back to collision her going back for the tbs title why 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 does this make sense um you know she's surely above this at this point however i feel now it's a bit more apparent with this story that we've heard today i feel it's a bit more apparent maybe she's, she's just doing um you know as they call it just just doing the job for for statlander on her way out you know doing a good deed statlander's now got that that essence that the aura of beating jade cargill on two occasions and yeah like they're saying man like she's wrestled her last match 
it's incredible like it's absolutely mad um you guys you know you, you can reach me on twitter wrestlemaniac uk let me know your thoughts on this man um jade cargill leaving i always thought you know at, at points i thought sh she would be absolutely perfect for wwe i'm sure we've all thought that um but at the same time she seems like such of a, a made kind of woman in terms of just her, her influence that does she even still need wrestling and that's where you know with this long absence she's had from aew that's where where my mind has been so does she even need wrestling anymore like she's surely seen opportunities especially through the likes of mercedes monet seeing what mercedes monet has been involved with in and around the industry since leaving wwe but by all accounts it looks like you know she is heading for the wwe and she may have wrestled her last match in aew i think that's absolutely incredible like and just to talk on a second of what wwe can do for her like honestly the whole argument of names she'll probably keep her name because that is her name um you know her brand deals and things like that all wwe have to do is exceed all of that extra money she's making through the wages they offer her which they could probably easily do obviously at the time in 2019 it was for her to go into nxt and nxt wrestlers are on a certain wage especially when you know they're kind of brand new to wrestling it's it's, it's not like they've come from another company and they're known or whatever the case is um so yeah it's the opportunity for her and you know we're talking about her mainstream star wwe can tenfold that literally they can give her almost a blueprint of how to become a mega star you see what i mean so um yeah this is really really exciting stuff um for her for wrestling you know she's she's become a big big star and i know a lot of people talk about her her in-ring ability and all of this kind of stuff um listen when you go to wwe that ain't the focus it's the entertainment it's the star power and all of that and in that regard we all know she belongs on a big stage so i'm dead interested to see how this develops i, I can't wait um and of course you know we've got the rumble which is around the corner at this point not too far three months or so away maybe about four months away could be a good place for for jade to show up but yeah big up jade cargill um big up her team big up aew because i think aew has been a great place for her to kind of hone her skills in the the um early stages of her career um yeah i guess we're just gonna have to see how this one pans out